Alright, hey, check it out, YouTube. Um, this will be my first ever how-to video. Last night I decided, for some crazy reason, that I was going to build all of my microchange couplers that I had in my parts bin. The reason being was because they... I wanted to know how many I had, and I wanted to make sure that I didn't have to do it later on um, and waste time when I'm working on a project. Uh, the reason... and one of the reasons why I put it off for so long is because they're such a pain in the butt. And I know everybody hates putting these things together. Well, I'm, I'm the same way. But last night when I sat down, I actually figured out a pretty fast way to put a, together the Microtrain's 1015 couplers. Um, I'm not sure if they're even called 1015's anymore. I think they're something else. But this is the 1015 coupler blocks, the regular length, and then the long length here. Uh, they're cheaper. They're a lot cheaper when you buy them unassembled. Um, but they're pain in the butt to put together. But I found a way. So fear not. Okay. Obviously, you're going to need to remove all this, the coupler parts from the sprues. And I just have them set up in pairs so that I know how many I had. Um, and you're going to have to open up the little pill things little pill capsules and get your trip pins together your double lot 90 screws together over here on the right see them over here and your devilish little microtrains coupler springs okay now I don't obviously I don't have enough all here they're off to the side you can't see them you're gonna need some tools uh, you can see in my hand I've got an exacto knife with a number 11 blade it doesn't have to be sharp okay it does not have to be sharp it just needs to have just need to have the blade and I'll show you what I do with that in a minute you're going to need these guys I don't remember where I got them they might have been I might have got them in Hobby Town or something um, squadron tools I believe they were uh, they're tweezers but they're like locking clamp tweezers I use these things for a lot of things now um, I'm not as deft as I used to be with my fingers and my fingers are pretty fat so, need those. You're going to need one of your screwdrivers. If you're a model railroader and you don't have these screwdrivers, you're wrong. Okay, they're pretty cheap, and you need them for a lot of things. So, flat bladed screwdriver to once you're done assembling the coupler, you have to put the screw in the double lot ninety screw, and you also use them. I use them to help put the spring in. You'll see that in a second. You need a block of wood. This is a sanding stick that I made. A block of wood, a block of styrene. Uh, this is, I don't know, three-eighths by a quarter, maybe? Or half by three-sixths? It doesn't matter. Just a block of wood. Uh, I make my own sanding sticks uh, to save a lot of money. It's just sandpaper glued to a block of wood with white glue or carpenter's glue. And then it peels it off, and that's another story. You need needle nose pliers. These are, uh, there's nothing really special about them. I mean, while they're special to me, they were my dad's. Um, they're real old. The inside's filed smooth, and then there's a little notch. I don't know if you can see it. I can't see what I'm doing here. Right there, there's a little notch that I use. There you go, you can see it. Two bend wire, okay? The other thing... And the key to this whole trick is I build a lot of things on glass. This is just glass um, out of a picture frame. It doesn't have to be on glass to do this, but you do need blue painter's tape. Okay, I use this stuff for everything. I love it. It's low tack. Uh, it's easy to remove things. So why don't we get set up and I'll show you how it's done okay so the very first thing you gotta do is install these trip pins and this is the problem this is the part of the assembly that I've always had the hardest time with um, it, I bend them I you know they slip and stab me in the finger every kind of problem that you can ever come up with well I finally figured out that I'm trying too hard and it's actually a lot easier so Needle those pliers, take the trip pin, okay? You take your 
the knuckle side of the coupler and make sure that the bottom of it is facing up so it lays relatively flat okay now it's going to be kind of hard to see but without holding on to this thing basically all you're going to do is drive the pin in straight down and you'll see the coupler twist a little bit boom done how easy is that let's move on okay one of the things that i wanted to point out was in the last part where I drove the, the trip pin in, <clears throat> basically the pin will find its own level, so to say. Instead of trying to line up the tiny little rectangle with the offset tiny little rectangle hole, if you just drive it in, and as long as you're not on a sticky surface, if you're on a semi-smooth surface like your workbench or your cutting mat, what happens is, is it the pin forces the rectangle hole to fit the pin, not the other way around. And that's the way I, I've always tried to do it, was try to get the pin to fit the hole. And what you're trying to actually do is get the hole to fit the pin. So you just force down, and it doesn't take a whole lot of effort. I mean, it, you just saw me drive it straight down. All right, so now we have the coupler assembled, okay? the two sides of the coupler, the two halves of the coupler, coupler, excuse me. And we take a block of wood and we take our coupler box and stick it down on a double-sided tape. And then all you do is make sure that it's blocked off here. There we go. Okay. Take your coupler and then set it in the coupler box. Let's see if I can get this without swearing. Now, because it's on double-sided tape, there's a little bit, you push down here, and it kind of holds the coupler in place, okay? Oh, sorry about that. I'm using an iPhone and a tiny little tripod. Okay, so this is all lined up. Now we got to get the spring. Let me, reset, let me set the camera People up. People have the problem with getting the spring. So if you just use a number 11 blade, and you come on... The far left-hand side, as you're looking at it, and you just press down, it picks the spring up, okay? Now, the reason I do that is when I flip it over, you'll see, and I'll reset the camera up, but I'll be able to slide that in and then pull the slide out, or the, the knife out, and what it'll do is it'll leave it in the where it's supposed to be. <clears throat> now, you might need, and I'll show you, I usually use the screwdriver as well to hold the spring in place, but using the tape gives you an extra set of hands is basically all, all why I use the tape. It holds everything together while you can manipulate the spring. So let's show you that. This thing's going to make a fool of me. I know it. I'm going to put this on video and it's going to screw it all up. Okay, so now we have the spring. Go down here to our coupler. Slide it in. I'm going to take a screwdriver. Oh, oh, and there it goes. Let's try that again. Okay, so I don't know. Sometimes I sing to myself while I'm doing this. Oh, there it goes. You little bugger. Come here. Now, normally when you're doing this, you're trying to figure out a way to hold everything together, and it just doesn't work. So, with a double sided tape, or not the double sided tape, but the blue tape, the painter's tape, it holds everything relatively still for you. See, there we go. And just push it down. And it's assembled, and all you gotta do is put the, the top on. So let's do that. Okay, so we removed the block of wood just so that you can get your fingers in there. And you get your coupler top. Let's see if the camera can see it. Wicker Train's couplers are so small that it's hard to do anything with. And you just set it on top there. Gently, gently. There we go. Come on, you. Don't make a fool out of me. This is my first YouTube video ever. There we go. Okay. There, and it's done. <clears throat> now, one thing I wanted to point out was once you have this done, and you can pick it up gently, 
and then these clamping tweezers. Can you see that? That holds everything together while you get the screw, and then you can screw the screw in there, and then it's all assembled, and it won't come apart. Okay? So, there you have it. This took probably about 10 minutes on video, but in reality, it was only taking me like three minutes last night. And there's another way to do the, um, the low-profile couplers, the 2004s, I think they are, and I built a bunch of those last night. Let's see. Yeah, these guys. There's a little bit of a different way to do these. It doesn't require the tape. It's all done with the uh, the tweezers. Um, but the 1015s just don't work the same way. So maybe I'll I'll do another video and I'll, I'll show you how to build these. But I put these all together and I don't want to take them apart. So okay, and that's all I got. If you got any comments, please leave them in the comment section.